a very good morning friends so today i am going to tell you what is not making and how to summarize if we are having any unseen passage and how we can do that so let's start so note making and summarization note making and summarizing are the crucial skills that helps us not only in academics but also at our workplace note making essentially involves taking record or noticing or noting down the main points of whatever is read or heard whenever you are sitting in a class and if a teacher is telling you a lesson teaching you a lesson then if you have to make the important points so what is that that is the not making so the purpose of making note is to filter important information information so that they can be referred back to whenever needed so it is very useful as it saves time it saves energy and it accelerates the process of recalling accelerate means increase the level of that first thing is the not making passage is of five marks and consists two part first one is making notes of the given passage and second one is writing a summary of the passage the first part that is make notes of the given passage so this part requires the student to make notes with proper headings subheadings abbreviations and symbols indenting and the title in this part marks are given for the title indentation key of abbreviation and the notes second one is writing a summary of the passage so this part requires the student to write a summary on the basis of notes it should it should not in, uh, include any abbreviation so marks are given for the content and the expression you have used there so uh, next one is how to make good notes and summary so first one is that is the tips which will help you in making good notes first one is keep the notes short and compact so that they are e they are easy to understand second one is read the passage carefully and then mark the keywords as you read as you read third one is organize your notes into headings and subheadings next is the heading must reflect the main theme and the subheading should point out how the theme is developed next thing is give a suitable title to the summary and the notes do not write complete sentences in the notes and do not use abbreviations in the summary follow the proper numbering and indentation while making the notes while making the summary remember to keep it under the word limit it should not exceed 1 by 3 of the length of the passage so the summary should contain only the main ideas and the supporting details and the last thing is that you have to remember to make a key of abbreviation and enclose it into a box like this here you can see here this is a box so uses of abbreviation in not making is abbreviation helps in writing the information briefly following are some of the ways in which you can use abbreviation first one is you can use common symbols second is you can use contradictions short forms wherever possible so some common abbreviation is jaise yahan pe dikha diya gaya hai symbol ke taur par plus positive ka sign dikha diya gaya hai aur words hai positive pura positive word likhne ki bajaye agar hum plus ka sign laga dete hain to usko represent kar deta hai so this is abbreviation i hope you are getting it नेक्स्ट थिंग इज अब फॉर एग्जाम्पल को हम ई और जी से लिखते हैं दैट इज को आई ई एंड एज लाइक दिस असैप इट इज ऑल्सो यूज एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो नाओ अ स्टूडेंट कैन ऑल्सो क्रिएट हिज और हर आर एब्रीविएशन बाई यूजिंग द फॉलोइंग मैथड सो फर्स्ट फ्यू लेटर्स ऑफ द वर्ड्स आर समाइम्स इन एफ टू रिमेंबर वट द एब्रीविएशन स्टैंड फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इम्पोर्टेंट आई एम पी यूज कर सकते हैं इन्फॉर्मेशन के लिए आई एन एफ ओ इन्फो रिमूव ओल और ऑलमोस्ट ऑफ द वर्वल्स फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड यूज जस्ट द की कॉन्सोनेंट बर्नस टूगेदर लाइक दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट 
एम एन जी एम टी इट इज वर्ड स्टैंड फॉर मैनेजमेंट मार्केट एम के टी मार्केटिंग एम के टी एन जी डेवलपमेंट डी वी पी टी डेवलपमेंट सो दिस इज द एब्रीविएशन थिंग दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज फॉर्मेट ऑफ नॉट मेकिंग एंड समरिंग समराइजिंग सो फर्स्ट इज टाइटल देन यू हैव टू डू हैडिंग then sub headings of that relevant heading first heading next one is second heading and its sub heading next one is third heading and its sub heading then fourth heading and its sub heading so key to abbreviation here full form or the meaning of the abbreviation used in the notes are written like this you have to write down like this and you have to tell which for which word you have used which one abbreviation because for every word for every person abbreviation can be different or we can say sometimes same so you have to do like this this was about today's lecture i hope you understood it very well if you want to take screenshot then you can take i hope you have taken so thank you very much